Hey guys, a lot of you were asking for me to start making my tutorials available on YouTube, so uh, I figured I'd start doing that. First thing first, for photo at least, I use the Canon 5D Mark III. Um, the lens that I have on here right now is the 24 to 70 f2.8. This is the second version of the lens. This is pretty much the main lens I use. It's a zoom, so I have the ability to be at 24, which is decently wide, not too wide like the 16 to 35, which I actually have on the Sony a7S right now, which is recording. And the 70 is long enough for me um, in order to get that shallow depth of field that I achieve in a lot of the photos. Everything I do is in manual mode. Up top here is the shutter speed. I never have my shutter below a 160. The higher the shutter goes, um, the darker the photo is gonna be. So that's kind of like a little relationship you're gonna have to play between the shutter speed and the f-stop, which is this dial back here for using a Canon. I like keeping my f-stop at a 2.8 at night. Um, if your lens goes any lower than that, like a 1.4, um, you can drop it to there, but then that's super shallow depth of field, so you can be very careful about focus. During the day, I like to keep my f-stop at like a 4.5 because you get that shallow depth of field, but then you could also um, make sure that the subject is in focus. All right, so I'm going to now show you how I kind of go through Lightroom and uh, what presets I post and how I adjust the picture. Okay, first things first, you open Adobe Lightroom, which is the program that I use to color my photos. Once in Adobe Lightroom, um, you go to the Library tab, and if you don't already have your photos in the program, you can go to Import and select where your photos are that you want to add into the program. So for me, all of my photos are in my hard drive, which is called Lilu, because I'm a sci-fi nerd, and it is an orange lacy drive, and Lilu is the character from the fifth element that has orange hair. Um, but my photos are already in there, so I can just go back to Adobe Lightroom. Um, this is the library tab, like I said, which will have all of your photos available for scrolling. Um, here are actually some photos I took last night from the BBC Live Lounge with Usher, um, which is very cool. Um, but I will go into some of these pictures that I took of Alyssa, um, one specifically that I posted on Instagram today. The Develop tab, um, you can select the photo that you want to color. So let's do this one of Alyssa from a shoot we did last night at the Walt Disney Concert Hall. Um, and first step for me is choosing a base preset. I know this is already a step ahead for a lot of you considering you don't have these presets, but I am actually gonna make these packs available for download and purchase very soon. Um, until then, I can just kinda show you my process. Um, so for this, I kinda, there's already a green shade in the shadow, so I kinda wanna play off of that and actually have a preset called Flower Garden 2 that I made from um, a shoot that Alyssa and I did in Vancouver in a flower garden. So if I select this as a base set, it gives it this nice green shadows. The oranges are nice and saturated here. Um, it's a good base, but there's some adjustments that can be made. Um, step one is going to the exposure tab and kind of playing with how bright you want the photo to be. Now. For basic knowledge, exposure will brighten up essentially everything in the photo, meaning the highlights, the shadows, the blacks, the whites, everything. Um, underneath here are all those different things I just named that you can kind of manipulate to give the photo the look that you want. Um, now this was taken in very low light condition, so the ability we have to manipulate the actual image is um, less than it would normally be. So the ISO, right here is at 5,000. For those of you that don't know, the ISO is essentially the camera's artificial way of interpreting a film stock. So for darker situations, the higher the ISO is going to be. For brighter situations, the lower. The lower the ISO is, um, the less noise you're gonna have in the photo and the more room you're gonna have in order to edit it. Looking at the picture, here's a couple quick tips and tricks you can do. One, I, the exposure is decent, her face looks good, but if you look down here at the bottom, it's all blown out, the lights are kind of a little, little too harsh, so what you can do is go to highlights and lower that, kind of crush that, and that fixes the 
brightness in these areas here. Another little tip is since the brightness is only kind of present at the bottom here, you could actually go to the left to some of these little toolkits that are available and you can just add like a vignette. What that does is just adds this shadow along the perimeter here so that lessens the highlights as well. Um, now here's another little trick especially if you're shooting in low light and you're gonna get a lot of noise if you zoom in you can see that there's a lot of artifacting going on you can scroll down and what Lightroom has is um, in the detail tab is essentially a noise reduction so a good place to be if you need to remove noise is making the color at 20 in the 20 ballpark range and make the luminous 20 what this does is eliminate some of the noise in the photo without losing a lot of sharpness. Another trick I like doing is playing with the colors. So if you go to the hue tab here, you can essentially adjust the colors to make it the look you want. So if I'm shifting the green all the way to the left, it almost makes it more yellow. In the middle is your standard kind of green, and then all the way to the right is almost a more blue. So you kind of just want to play with the look you want to go with here. Um, so I think this middle is pretty good. Same with aqua, you can shift it left and right. Same what type of tone you want and same with blue. So this is a neat way to kind of customize your photo and give it a different look. Same here with saturation. So if you know that green is the main color you want to play with, you can make the saturation higher. The lower it is, the less it is in the photo. And same with aqua here for me, I kind of wanted this green and blue to be the main colors to play with this orange here in the photo. Okay, so that's kind of just a basic overview of um, importing a picture into Lightroom using the develop section to kind of color your photo and then adjusting some of the different um, tabs in there in order to get the look you want. Um, I know there's a lot more I can get into. This is kind of just a little introductory into tutorials. Um, if you guys find this helpful and you want me to keep making more as I plan to, just comment below um, and let me know what other questions and subject you want me to cover. Um, I know a lot of you want me to get into video editing, which is another subject entirely that I'll dive into. Um, for that, I use Adobe Premiere Pro and uh, kind of as these videos keep going, I'll just dive a little more and more into how I do everything. Thanks for watching, guys.